Hey guys, it's me, Sword on Roxas here, and uh, I apologize for not making a vlog in a while. Uh, me and my boy Shadow have just been working on um, gameplay videos and stuff like that. I actually just uploaded a um, preview trailer, a uh, little preview video for one of the GTA 5 videos that Shadow just uploaded on his uh, channel not too long ago. And uh, this video is going to be really quick. It's just about me and what I think about the uh, Oscar nominations for 2014 and I've always watched the Oscars but I haven't really been into them as much until about I think 2011 it's when I really started paying attention to them because that's really when I started to get uh, well back into movies uh, as much as to make reviews about them and whatnot and so I'm just, you know, just sitting here, just surfing through the internet and stuff, you know, just looking through different things. And, and I'll try to figure out what's the latest news right now. Um, as far as latest news, Batman Arkham has been, uh, Arkham 4 has been rumored. And, you know, they got the little teaser poster or whatever up there now. And as long, as I said, as long as WB Montreal does not make it, I'm fine. Okay. If Rocksteady's making it, I don't care who's making it. If, uh, hopefully it's Rocksteady. But if it's just not WB Montreal, I am fine. Okay. <laughs> I am okay with that. that is, I am fine. But, um, yeah. So besides that, nothing's really going down. Uh, the serpent on the computer here. Okay, so the Oscar nominations. Um, like I said, I really got into the Oscars. I love when Seth MacFarlane actually hosted it uh, the year before this one. And um, Ellen's back hosting it again, and um, I love her too. And so let's uh, let's talk let's talk about the big uh, three categories here, and that's um, best actor, best actress, and of course best picture. And I love how, you know, it's surprising that animation isn't up here, but as far as best animated feature, I'm just going to come out and say it. Frozen's going to take it, man, because, you know, I saw the other ones, or I saw two of them, or one of them, <laughs> one of the other ones. Um, Despicable Me Too I saw, which was really funny, not really um, into the story that much. I wasn't wasn't really expecting a sequel either. I thought the Spickable Me was fine for what it was, but it just felt more like a Saturday morning cartoon. A anyway, um, oh, I see Jennifer Lawrence is up for a supporting role. I love Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, I already said in my uh, what you call it, my uh, review on the Hunger Games that I just love Jennifer Lawrence and I love everything about her. And, yeah, so for, far as Frozen, yeah, Frozen is going to take Best Animated Feature. So, uh, yeah, screw that. Screw everyone else. Frozen's taking it, man. I already vouched for Frozen. I did my review on it. You know, you can go check that out. I'll probably put a link in the description if I don't. You know, it's on my channel. Go check it out. I freaking love that movie. I go into better detail there how why I love it and stuff like that. Uh, cinematography and stuff, blah, 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 costume design, whatnot, whatnot. Okay, so this is interesting. Best actor in a leading role. You got Christian Bale. You can search all this up on Google. Uh, just type in Oscar nominations 2014. It'll all pop up for you. You got Christian Bale, Bruce Dern, Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, I can't pronounce this guy's name. <laughs> I know exactly who he is. Uh, let me try to pronounce it. Uh, Chi Wattel, Ijofro, uh, and Matthew McConaughey. Um, that's interesting. A uh, little category of people there. Because I never liked that Matthew McConaughey's acting, and I said this when I was reviewing Dallas Buyers Club, which I seen really late. And that's probably going to be like the last late review I'm going to do, so I, uh, I apologize for that. I should have got that out uh, a little bit earlier, because like I said, the Oscars is right on Sunday, this Sunday, coming Sunday. And um, some of these movies I haven't even seen yet, and I'm really disappointed, because I, I just haven't had the time. And people have been telling me, oh, Chris, you know, Sor, you got to see these movies. You got to see this movie. And I'm just like, okay, you know, I'll, I'll check it out. I'll check it out when the time comes. But uh, I always try to see the Oscar-nominated movies. And as far as right now, um, going back to Best Actor for his leading role, this is kind of a tough category <laughs> considering the movies that are here. And... To be honest, I, I don't know what to say um, because 
there's certain movies here I, I haven't seen. I haven't seen Nebraska. I haven't seen 12 Years a Slave. I haven't seen Her yet. Um, Captain Phillips, I've actually had in my possession for a long time. Still haven't seen it yet. I haven't. And these movies I'm going to sit down and I'm going to watch this weekend. So I probably shouldn't really give a prediction, but I'm just going to come out and say it. Probably um, Matthew McConaughey might get it. And I... No, that may seem messed up because, like I said, even in the review, I wasn't a fan of Matthew McConaughey. and But the way he's been acting lately has been really good. And I think he just, like, got this movie down pat. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, best Actress in a Leading Role, Amy Adams, um, Kate Benchlet, Sandra Bullock, Judy, Judy Dench, and Meryl Streep. Okay. Leading Role for a Woman. Um... Like I said, I haven't seen American Hustle yet, and I love Amy Adams. Amy Adams, I love you, uh, but I'm probably going to give it to Sandra Bullock. Oh, my God. I freaking love Gravity. That's like one of my favorite movies of all time, literally. It's like, like I said, it's um, it starts up slow, so slow pace, but it puts you in this immersion th that you're in space. And as far as, you know, them actually not being there, I think she portrays that really well. In this movie, so Sandra Bullock, I gotta, get, I gotta give that to her, man. And I always thought she was a good actress, but I wasn't really on par with her like that. I like her more than Matthew McConaughey, um, but I didn't really see a lot of their movies. So me actually going for them right now is pretty weird. Um, and then the big category here: Best Picture, Best Picture, um, American Hustle, Captain Phillips, Dallas Buyers Club, Gravity, Her, Nebraska. Uh, Philomena, um, never heard of that actually, 12 Years of Slave, and The Wolf of Wall Street. Now, like I said, I haven't seen Nebraska, I haven't seen her, 12 Years of Slave, The Wolf on Wall Street, or Philomena at all, uh, or Captain Phillips. So out of all of this up here, I've probably seen like two, <laughs> which was Dallas Buyers Club and Gravity, which uh, two movies I actually really like. I like Gravity more. I don't know, I did Dallas Buyers Club, but, you know, as far as the movies, they're all, they're okay. They're great in their categories. And this is going to be a tough one this year, guys. I When 2013 started, it didn't really have any good movies in the beginning. That's why there wasn't really a lot of reviews for me going on. It wasn't until, like, later on after the summer we started really getting the good movies. And, God, we just got, like, an overflow of good movies. And unlike 2012, we had... Which, I didn't start my reviewing stuff on YouTube until Wreck-It Ralph, but I would say a lot of 2012 movies was, like, really good. And 2012 was just a great year for movies. The Jangle, Unchained, and all this good stuff. Love the movies. But now, um, in 2013, I was like, oh, this year's gonna suck. But no, they actually came out with some good movies. But it wasn't until later on in the year, towards the end of the year. So, as far as right now, I actually have not seen a good bit of these movies, and I, I do apologize, because I would have been made my reviews right now. I did see a little bit of The Wolf of uh, Wall Street, I haven't seen it all the way. Uh, 12 Years a Slave, I've also seen a little bit of, but the reason why I said I haven't seen it is because I haven't finished it, I haven't seen the whole thing. This is just me, like, glancing in on something, you know, somebody else is viewing it, I'll glance in and see, like, what's going on, but that's about it. I never actually, you know, went to the theaters and sat, sat, sat down and watched it with other people. I never, you know, um, got the digital download or whatnot or uh, seen it on demand. I, I, haven't, I haven't done that stuff yet. And as far as people been requesting uh, while telling me to see, um, whether online or just in my life in general, is... Um, the 12 Years a Slave, a lot of people have been saying, see 12 Years a Slave, and uh, I'm going to try to watch it this week, and I actually got a copy of 12 Years a Slave for uh, digital download. So, you know, that's great right there. Like I said, I have Captain Fields in my possession as well, and I could probably get American Hustle. Uh, Wolf on Wall Street, I don't know whether I can see that or not before Sunday. Her, I don't know whether I can see that or not before Sunday, but, you know, and Nebraska too, but her, I didn't know what to think about it when I first 
you know, read the um, the premise of when I first read the story of what the plot was going to be about. And it, it's amazing how this movie has just become really big. Um, I There's not a lot of people I know that seen the movie besides online, so as far as people I know haven't seen it, but they've seen some of the other ones. So anyway, I've just been um, getting requests to, you know, watch these movies and tell, tell me what you think about them. But... I'm probably not going to make a review about them, even if I do see them. That's why I'm saying um, which movies I think would, the ones that I did see, I think would do well, well, have done well. And so I won't be making reviews about this, about these movies. So even if I do see 12 Years a Slave or Wolf of Wall Street over the weekend, which I'm going to do my best to do, I, like I said, I will not be making reviews. So don't look forward to that. Um... But, like I said, we'll see on Sunday how it's going to go. I'm really looking forward to the Oscars this time around, too, as well. This is like my <laughs> uh, third or fourth year watching them in a row. And as far as Best Picture, I think Gravity might take it. That's just me. I think Gravity might get Best Picture. Either that or 12 Years a Slave. <laughs> like I said, I've seen a little bit of it and I loved it. So... I, it really betrays just, I guess you could say, past America or current America or whatever. But I'm going to have to look at these movies, man. I'm going to have to look at these movies. But, yeah, that's my nomination for Best Picture, um, Gravity, Leading Role Actor, um, Matthew McConaughey, uh, Best Actress, Sandra Bullock. Okay, those are my nominations. That's, why, that's who I think is going to win. Might not. May, don't know, can't wait to see. All right, so, um, yeah, in the meantime, I'm just going to be uploading probably just some random videos. So until then, I will see you next time, my friends, and hopefully I'll have a longer video. <laughs> so, uh, all right, take care. Sorna Rocks is out. Check you later. Man, this camera catches all the background noise. What I have been trying to say is that I apologize for the shaky cam throughout the video. It has just been horrendous. I was looking at it through the editing and I was like, God, why is the camera shaking so much? And I actually found out it's because I had my laptop here and I was uh, pressing the little buttons and whatnot and it was moving the camera. My, The desk I have um, is actually not that stabilized, so it causes things to move. I'm actually moving it right now. So, uh, yeah, let me end this video properly by saying I will see you in my next video. Uh, this will also count as my update video. I posted something uh, already on my channel, so that's going to count as Friday's video. And, yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to the Oscars. I can't wait till they come on. And I'm going to be watching every bit of it. And there's a snowstorm that's supposedly on its way, and the snowstorm is supposed to be here Monday. And if it is, I might not have any classes. Maybe, maybe I will. But... As far as Sunday night, you know, I will be able to fully watch the Oscars, and I would, of course, I might make another video to it talking about um, after I see the people who have officially won and not just the nominees I pick. I can't wait to see that. Um, it's gonna be really interesting. So I'm gonna be watching movies this weekend, probably most likely on Saturday and early Sunday before the Oscars come on. So until then. Um, uh, I will see you in my next video. Nothing really else to talk about. Uh, so this is kind of a short update video and more of a better random discussion video. So maybe I'll place this in both categories in my playlist. <laughs> Whatever. That's technical stuff. All right. So I will see you next time. And I want you all to take care and watch the Oscars, man. We're going to see who's going to win. All right. So see you.